So that's a very special time in my life. This was when James and I were sp- first becoming friends, and he was someone I looked up to greatly before I joined the band. We all did, anybody in any other bands, even the guys in the bands around him, even Exodus and Violence and all the Bay Area bands, we all looked up to James, this special, gifted person still is. And so we were getting to be friends, and we'd stay over at each other's house apartments. We'd take care of each other's animals when we went on vacations, and these kind of things got to be pals. And uh, we were in my one-bedroom apartment, had my little four-track task cam set up in the corner of the bedroom, and we're jamming on our guitars uh, and just playing through some riffs. And I played that, you know, that blackened riff, and he goes, dude, what is that? Because it was really pretty crazy, the original thing, is very fast alternating thing, man. It's pretty tricky, actually. But the one that ended up on the record is pretty tricky, too, but the original one is really tricky. And so he picked up on that, and we recorded that bit, and he goes, let's build it to this and build it to this. And it was just uh, it was a moment. You know, he was actually composing a song with James from Metallica, and he was approving my riffs and saying this is going to be a Metallica song. That was a big, big moment for me. And I remember, because we already been on tour together, and so I had a giant Damage Incorporated tour poster on my bedroom wall right above my little station where I had my speakers and my little four track and a couple of guitars. At that point, I probably had two or three guitars in my collection. And there we were right there. I could paint that picture for you very plainly, but it was a very, very big moment for me because I was getting approval from the man to have my first chance on having one of my compositions on a Metallica record. 